हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम मैं नेम रमनदीप सिंह सो स्टूडेंट्स एस बी आई सर्कल बेस्ड ऑफिसर नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नोटिफिकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एग्जाम पैटर्न द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया द सिलेबस हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर एवरीथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे ओके सो इम्पॉर्टेंट डेट्स यू कैन अप्लाई फ्रॉम टुडे इट सेल्फ लास्ट डेट टू अप्लाई इज ट्वेल्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द सर्वर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी बीजी ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर सो यू शुड अप्लाई बाई एलेवेंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट एंड द एग्जाम इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओके सो देर आर फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी वैकेंसीज बम्पर नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज बहुत सारी वैकेंसीज हैं यू शुड अप्लाई सो ट्वेंटी वन इज़ द मिनिमम एज टू अप्लाई मैक्सिमम एज टू अप्लाई थर्टी ईयर्स ओके सो द कट ऑफ डेट टू चेक द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इज थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इफ यू बॉर्न बिफोर फर्स्ट ऑफ नवम्बर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी थ्री देन यू आर नॉट एलिजिबल दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ नवम्बर इज इंक्लूसिव ओके so if you born before 1993 first of november 1993 then you are not eligible for this post i mean you can uh, stop watching this video okay relaxation for sc st obc category candidates are there i hope you are already aware of it 5 years for sc st 3 years for obc and uh, uh, for for pwbd 10 to 15 years it varies and for ex servicemen uh, age relaxation is also there okay so eligibility criteria let me just hide my face graduation is required graduation is required from a recognized university graduation is required from a recognized university or any equivalent qualification recognized as such by the central government including the integrated dual degrees okay so candidates possessing uh, qualifications such as medical engineering chartered accountant cost accountant would also be eligible okay let's move forward so work experience is required this time work experience is required for cbo so for minimum 2 years of work experience is required in, in any scheduled commercial bank or rrb okay so 2 years of work experience is required is an um, you know nbfc uh, the work experience of nbfc is valid no work experience of nbfc is not valid here only the work experience of a scheduled commercial bank it can be a public sector bank can be a private sector bank and work experience of any rrb is valid okay two years of work experience post qualification work experience as on 31st of october 2023 it is required the candidate he needs to submit the job profile uh, job profile certified by their existing or the previous employer that is required they need to submit that in case their job profile doesn't match uh, with the sbi scale one journalist officer then they may reject your application to so job job profile ka certify karwana zaruri hai from your existing uh, you know employer that can be an issue because uh, jo abhi ka employer hai uska format kuch alag ho sakta hai but it is required job profile likha hona zaruri hai aapke work experience letter pe 6 months of probation period is there Uh, the selection procedure there is an online test which includes objective test plus a descriptive test is also there okay so uh, the selection procedure first of all there is a screening proper screening is there and then followed by the proper interview okay so there is an online test followed by the screening so what happens at the time of screening the screening uh, committee constituted by bank will examine whether the candidate fulfills the required eligibility criteria of experience so uh, at the time of screening basically they'll check your work experience well whether it is valid or not that's all so if you are a scale one officer at a psu bank if you are working at a rrb or an um, uh, if you are already working at a private sector bank right if you have a valid experience no need to worry about screening you are going to crack it no issues ye qualifying basically they are checking your work experience at the stage and then followed by proper interviews okay so the weightage of interview is 25% uh, weightage of the online test is 75% okay so let's move forward 
See, in the online exam, there is English language, banking knowledge, general awareness and computer aptitude. Banking knowledge ka weightage is 40 uh, out of 120 questions. 40 questions are from banking and 30 from general awareness and economy, which is more or less related to banking only, right? So English language, 30 questions, computer aptitude, 20 questions. There is no quant, there is no reasoning, okay? And there is no penalty for wrong answers, okay? So, uh, one important thing, list of documents to be uploaded, Pura, a recent photograph, signature, ID proof, job profile is important. And the job profile that needs to be certified by your existing and the pre whatever the existing or previous employer, that is really, really important because see students, there is screening, they are going to check your job profile only job profile wala PDF, which should be certified by the employer that is very, very important. Brief resume, I'll give you a proper format. Usme aapka education qualification, professional qualification experience or the assignments handled, you need to mention that these two documents are very, very important. Educational uh, certificates, relevant mark sheets, experience letters of the form 16. So job profile and brief resume very, very important form 16 or salary slip, it is important to verify your um, uh, the originality authenticity of your work experience for that they ask for form 16 okay so yeah important hai. so let's discuss the syllabus in the english language there will be reading comprehensions for sure para jumbles para completions vocabulary error spotting close test sentence improvement of the rearrangement of sentences okay very important in the banking knowledge, RBI circulars are, I would say, most important. RBI circulars for last one year are very, very important. RBI's master circulars are very important. Just may priority sector lending and IRAC norms are very, very important. <coughs> banking reforms, regulatory bodies in India, international banking, uh, updates in the financial markets, uh, banking and the financial term, latest acts related to the banking. This may have negotiable instruments act is very important. <coughs> is may have negotiable instruments act the banking regulation act rbi act is very important um it's may payment and settlement act is important so we are going to do that okay and uh, documentation is very important documentation is very important documentation may have stamp duty act uh, limitation law registration act right we are going to cover that Surfaisi Act is there. Surfaisi ke saath you need to do IBC as well. So uh, the bankruptcy code, insolvency and bankruptcy code, very important. RBI's monetary policy we are going to cover. Capital money market instruments, commercial banks, mergers and acquisitions in the banking industry, credit rating and the payment options. Uh, general awareness mein, ek to government schemes are very, very important. I just uh, forgot about that. Government schemes are very important here. Okay in the in this portion a uh, complete list of obituaries uh, current affairs are very very important monthly gk digest that we provide as important cabinet ministers uh, government schemes uh, financial system in india financial markets international reports and indices committees foreign investment and trade union budget is very important growth numbers by various organizations latest mergers and acquisitions heads of various financial institutions mutual funds derivatives the basal norm is basically it's a uh, RBI's master circular. We are going to cover that for sure. Regulatory organizations in India, joint military exercises, summits and conferences, India's rank in various indices, list of appointments, the normal current affairs. Okay, uh, list of important days, MOUs, sports events, um, and the winners, awards and honors, popular books launch. Okay, so what uh, sports events? Very important. So ye sara hum karenge, right? Uh, in the banking knowledge, lot more topics are there, which are going to be covered. So lot more uh, laws we are going to cover, right? A uh, lot more topics, for example, types of charges, just my hypothecation, pledge, vagara, sara kuch a jata hai. Uh, foreign exchange, uh, aapka a jata hai. Isme export finance a jata hai, important topic, export finance, we are also going to cover the export finance in depth, very important topic we are going to cover. So all these topics are going to be covered. Okay. Let's move forward. So that is for the general awareness and economy. And this is for banking knowledge. RBI circulars are very, very important students. Whatever happens in the banking industry, 
it is monitored by RBI or the guidelines are issued by RBI and then the laws are very important negotiable instrument act every year I see three four question from negotiable instruments act I'll be discussing the previous year's paper with you Pichle saal ka paper I'm going to discuss the question asked I'm going to discuss with you don't worry at all so that is very very important we are going to cover all these topics and government schemes every year we get like three four questions from government schemes three four questions from negotiable instrument act two three question from documentation one two question from banking regulation act one two from rba act and then we get a lot of questions from uh, priority sector lending one or two question which is anyways an rbi circular okay irac norms surf ic act one two question always there okay then the mergers and acquisitions of banking company news latest news last six months of banking awareness news that is really really important every month i share the banking awareness digest on bank exams today.com we teach that as well okay so computer knowledge may be basic um, uh, computer hardware and software operating system basics internet terms and services ms office history of computers networking and communication database and security tools and viruses so students uh, sbi circle based officer uh, course is available on bank .com. we have started it we are providing daily video classes and we are providing special attention to banking knowledge banking knowledge per attention hum karte hain from the day one Live sessions are there, unit tests are there. We are going to provide the mock test as well and proper interview preparation guidance would be provided. So that's a part of the course. Uh, whatever I told you, we are going to cover the entire syllabus. So let's discuss our descriptive paper as well. Students, there is a descriptive test as well, a 30 minutes descriptive test in which you need to write an essay as well as there will be a letter writing essay can take around 20 minutes and you can write a letter within like 10 minutes trust me it's not that difficult if your typing speed is less than 15 it may be an issue so basically they are also testing your typing speed uh, the way you can write essays the way you can give your ideas quickly so 30 minute ka time basically hai to kafi kam but um, see students what i have noticed 90 percent i would say 95 percent of my students uh, their essays are below average i would say Bahut hi kharab essay likke dete and they get very bad marks for that generally so even if you write an average essay with the uh, with no grammatical mistake with no spelling mistakes a clear flow of ideas okay uh, you'll be able to score very good marks in descriptive paper so what i have noticed Students try to be innovative here. Kuch aisa idea lekar aate hain, kuch innovative bante hain, kuch smart bannye ki koshish karte hain aur wo bohat hi shandar se ideas dene ki koshish karte hain. They want to tell everybody that they are very smart, very intelligent unke according. Uh, they, they want to be very creative, which is not the right strategy. This is descriptive test, right? So basic English test kar rahe hain aapki, right? So you need to give easy uh, ideas the ideas which are easy to understand try to make less use of words just may up doubtful ho. try to avoid spelling mistakes try to avoid grammatical mistakes that is the key here in letter writing follow the proper format I'm going to make a proper video on how to write an essay and how to write a letter maybe within next one or two days right I'll, I'll be sharing that with you okay so students, I already told you about the SBI CBO uh, course and we'll be also providing descriptive paper test classes for that. Okay. And we are going to, going to evaluate your essays. I'm going to evaluate your essays myself. I'm going to check your essays and tell you where you are wrong. Right? Uh, so students, list of our successful students in the past. Uh, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future. So list uh, the link to join the course is available in the description. Please join the course as soon as possible. That's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.